Sometimes instead of providing a single pile for the foundation, we provide pile group for the foundation. This helps us to provide the large foundation bearing capacity, reduce the settlement and provide good stability to the structure. It also reduces the flow resistance and locker scour which are very common in C structures and there uh, there are many other advantages so therefore this pile group is used as a foundation for water structures such as the cross river and the sea bridge hello and welcome back to the master civil engineering and in this video we will learn that how to find the capacity of the pile group in clay soil okay i have been given a question which states that 150 mm diameter 10 meter long piles are used as a foundation for a column in uniform deposit of medium clay having unconfined strength of 100 kilopascal the spacing between the piles is 400 mm there are nine piles in the ground arranged in a square pattern we have to calculate the ultimate and the allowable load capacity of this pile group assuming addition factor as 0.9 and factor of safety as 2.5 first we will see that what we have been given in the question so unconfined compressive strength this is 100 kilopascal it means the undrained cohesion which is half of the unconfined compressive strength it will be 50 kilopascal length of the pile group is given as 10 meter diameter of single pile this is are given as 150 mm or 0 0.15 meter spacing between piles is uh, this is center to center spacing this is 400 mm or 0 0.4 meter addition factor is 0 0.9 and factor of safety is 2.5 the first thing which you will do is you will find the ultimate load capacity of a single pile so ultimate capacity of a single pile in clay soil is given as QU is equal to CU into NC into AP plus alpha into CU into AS. This CU, this is the undrained cohesion. NC is the bearing capacity factor for pile. AP is the cross-sectional area of the pile. Alpha is the uh, adhesion factor. And this AS, this is the surface area of the pile in the soil. The CU, in the question this is 50 kilopascal nc bearing capacity factor this is 9 for square and circular piles as this has been proposed by skempton cross-sectional area of pile this is pi into d square divided by 4 plus alpha which is 0 0.9 and uh, into c which is 50 into as this is the surface area so it will be pi into d into l putting values so this will be equal to 220 kilonewton this is the ultimate capacity of a single pile since we have to find the uh, pile capacity of the uh, sorry load capacity of the pile group so we have nine piles so ultimate load capacity of this pile group on the base of individual action this is equal to n into q u n is nine so it will be nine into 220 which is 19 180 kilo newton this is the uh, ultimate load capacity of this pile group based on the individual action now we will find the ultimate load capacity based on the group action so for this i have first drawn the drawing of this pile group we have the center to center spacing of 400 mm there are nine piles which are arranged in square pattern okay so you can see three piles on each side so width of this pile group this will be equal 75 mm plus 400 mm plus 400 mm plus 75 mm which will be equal 0 0.95 meter this is the width of the pile group since it is uh, in the square form so both sides will be same ultimate load capacity of the pile group by block failure this is given as uh, QUG is equal to CUB into NC into AB plus PB into L into CU. This CU, this is the undrained cohesion, so it will it is again 50 kilopascal and C bearing capacity factor, this is 9. AB, this is the cross-sectional area of the pile group, so it will be uh, 0 0.95 into 0 0.95. PB, this is the uh, perimeter uh, of the uh, pile group so it will be 4 into 0 0.95 length of uh, pile which is 10 into cu which is 50 
so this gives me the ultimate load capacity of this pile group on the base of block failure as 2306.13 kilonewton we have to take the lower of the two values that is in the individual action and the block failure so ultimate load capacity will be equal to 1980 kilonewton on the basis of the individual action which is smaller than the this block action so allowable load capacity this will be equal to ultimate load capacity divided by factor of safety so it will be 1980 divided by 2.5 which is 792 kilonewton this will be the allowable load capacity of this pile group so this is how you can find the ultimate as well as the allowable load capacity of the pile group i hope this solution video was clear and you learned something new if you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel like this video and share this video with your friends thanks for watching and stay tuned